All right, in this video, let's take a look at what it takes to create booleans in ZBrush or subtracting one shape from another. So let's say we want to create a hole inside this box, right? So the first thing you want to do is turn this box into DynaMesh. So I'm going to go ahead and click DynaMesh. Once your object is DynaMesh, right? you go to brushes and let's say this let's decide what we want to uh, subtract so let's say the cylinder would be a good shape so I'm gonna click on the insert cylinder and normally if I just simply drag a cylinder it creates a cylinder just like that now instead of just simply dragging it I can hold on the alt key and drag my cylinder and as I do that it creates this kind of a weird looking shape now, if you scroll down to display properties and turn your double sided on, you can see the shape much better. Now I can actually grab my move tool, put it in position maybe a little better. I can even make it longer, holding down the shift key, just make sure it's in the middle. And from this side, I can obviously position it anywhere I want. So because we held down the old key and because this box is a DynaMesh, all I can do now is just simply control and drag. Press once, drag it once to get rid of the mask and drag it again to create a hole. As you can see, it just simply punches a hole right through. Now if we can polish it and continue with our modeling. So that's how simple and easy it is to create uh, holes in shapes. Just simply hold down the Alt and think of Alt as subtracting.